uh, you write for in your piece that you think uh, Governor Walls would have the ability to work across the aisle. And you wrote this. Tim's ability to listen, collaborate and find pra- pragmatic solutions earned him respect from not just Democrats, but also Republicans like me. Do you have an example of one of those times when you were colleagues, when you were working across the aisle, where you worked together to find some sort of common ground? Yeah, you know, Tim Walls, um, he served as chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee. Um, in Congress today, there's stuff that goes on that it seems like constant yelling, uh, constant uh, just, just backstabbing uh, with one another. Uh, that, that, that the only thing that happens in Congress is, is whoever can make the most outrageous uh, uh, social media post is the only thing they get him. That certainly is not Tim's style. The Tim that I know, uh, when he worked as chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee, is somebody who reached out and looked at and listened to Republicans and Democrats alike. What he was in is the best interest of American people. And he, having served in the army, like myself, he would listen to me. Uh, um, and my home district, in the, although he is known for it, 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 it beauty and it, it, tourism, is also the home uh, to the Pacific Fleet, home to the Pacific Air, uh, home to the U.S. Army Pacific. I have a lot of veterans uh, in my district. Tim was willing to listen to me and hear the concerns of what's going on in my district. And it didn't matter that I was a Republican. Um, America needs a heck of a lot more of that uh, and a lot less of these showboats who go around and only want to punch the, the, uh, the opposite side just to score some quick, cheap political points. I never saw Tim Waltz do that. I never saw them trying to scheme and think about what's in the best way that I can maybe perhaps advance either my personal career or advance my political party into the opposition. Uh, his focus was always on what's in the bench interest of the American people. And when he ran his affairs committee, what's in the best interest of America's warriors? He, um, 